Well, new at 5 o'clock and only on 2, we are hearing from a woman who discovered human remains that might be linked to a missing grandmother. KPRC 2's Corley Peel is live in Liberty County tonight with the additional evidence investigators have found today. Corley. We were out at that location today and investigators tell me they found more remains. As of right now, the autopsy is complete and deputies tell me that they hope to officially identify those remains by today or tomorrow. Now, the woman I spoke with today says it's a good feeling knowing she was able to make that discovery in hopes of getting answers, but she says it's a feeling that comes with a lot of nightmares. Too many Australian shepherds spotted down this road alerted Mackenzie Stanley and her fiance to pull over where they would make a gruesome discovery. He was looking and he had this like confused look on his face. And so I was like, what? And he was like, I'm pretty sure that's a body. And I was like, there's no way. Sure enough, deputies confirmed human remains were found in the ditch of County Road 2132. Investigators believe the remains could be 57 year old Cheryl Sadal, a grandmother who disappeared in September. A big reason why investigators say it's a possibility the remains could be Sadal's is because of location. This area where her remains were found is about a 14 minute drive to her home where deputies say she was murdered. Had you heard about that case that she's been missing in the area? Um, I, I had not. Sadal's acquaintance, Donald Hassler, is currently in jail, charged with capital murder in connection to her death and disappearance. I honestly just hope that they can, you know, get answers back and whoever it is, their family just gets some kind of closure. If it wasn't for the mini Aussies, Stanley says she would have never found the remains. Again, the remains have not been officially identified, but we will let you know as soon as we get that information. But coming up tonight at 6, we'll tell you what Sadal's accused killer has been doing in jail while she's been missing. Reporting live from Liberty County, Corley Peel, KPRC 2 News.